The light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You see the little egg? Right there. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There it is. I'm so bummed, you guys. So I brought the caterpillar, the chrysalis, inside next to my computer here where I've been working and I've been watching it all day. The chrysalis went clear. I could see the, the monarch inside of it. I got really busy with work toward the end of the day. I ended up having to work like 15 minutes late and I just happened to look up and it was already out. So I didn't get uh, its emergence on camera. Nonetheless, I'm pretty excited that it survived its transformation and it, it's... Uh, drying out right now, hanging from its chrysalis. I'm gonna bring this outside here pretty soon. You can see the box that I've had it sitting in right next to my workstation. I'm gonna take it outside here pretty soon so when it is ready to fly, it is free to go and it's not trapped inside our house. Pretty cool. This was a cool experience. Really hope to grow some more milkweed for next year and be able to recreate this again and, and hopefully get more footage of it. I brought it out on our back patio because it's it's kind of protected in here between the uh, garage and the house from the winds so uh, the monarch can finish drying off and getting ready to test its flight. See? Yeah, come here, look. Why are you scared? I'm coming and see you. I'm going to see you. Emmy's going to stay there? That's a caterpillar that we were reading to. I'm a little surprised, as interested as Emerson has been in this caterpillar turning into a butterfly and everything, she is scared to go near it. She keeps coming over and looking at it, but she won't go near it. Which, that's fine, I guess. She'll come around. You can see its wings are a lot straighter. Hasn't started flapping them yet to air them out, but uh, looks like it's unraveled pretty well. Little bits of wind there swirling around, catching it. Oh, starting to open its wings. I've determined that this monarch is a female based on the thicker black veins on the wings. And also on the inside, when, when she opens her wings up, you'll see there is, there's usually a black spot on the inside of the wings right about here on the males. And that black spot is missing, which leads me to believe that this is a female. No touch. I didn't touch. Don't worry, baby. Butterfly. That's um, right. It is a mama butterfly. Is it cute? Yeah. And a little flapping wings. How flapping? Yeah. Is it flapping its wings? Yeah. I've got a stick here. I'm gonna see if I can relocate it to a sunny spot to help it dry out better. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see on the inside there. Uh, it's probably hard for the camera to see. There isn't a black spot, so definitely a female. She just pooped on my finger, so that's cool. Let's go out here on these rocks. Isn't that beautiful, though?
think? Why mama? Mama's inside. Okay, mama. I'll bye that. Okay, bye. So I would probably advise against relocating a monarch uh, right after it comes out of the chrysalis. Now this is, it's been about 40 minutes, half hour to 40 minutes since it came out uh, that I moved it out here. I don't know, it, I just felt like I wanted to get it out in the sun. Um, I guess I could have left it on the chrysalis and moved the box over here, but uh, nonetheless, I moved it here via the stick. Um, that brown, reddish fluid that fell out of its butt onto my finger was actually meconium. Meconium is a metabolic waste that builds up inside the um, pupa during the chrysalis stage. Uh, kind of think of it like when a baby comes out of the womb. Is that called meconium too? It starts with an M. That first poop that a baby has is that black tarry substance. Um, it's kind of similar to that, I suppose. So that's what, uh, it kind of tied my fingertip a little bit. I have to go wash my hands, but uh, you want to make sure that you leave the butterfly hanging upside down like this, and that's so its wings can properly develop. If you, if you hatch out a monarch and it happens to fall off the chrysalis, you want to pick it up and try and put it back on there very gently and carefully, but you want to make sure that those wings are hanging down so they develop. Uh, if it falls on the ground, its wings are not going to develop properly and it'll, it'll never fly. Oh, there, it just pooped out some more fluid. This is clear fluid, so I'm not sure what that means. Maybe just its normal systems are functioning. Super cool. I can see it flexing its proboscis, which is the um, curled up straw-like structure that it uses to stick down into flowers to get, pull the nectar out. I can see it flexing it. Very cool. Nature is just incredible. Hard to believe that 10 to 14 days ago this was a caterpillar. So if I'm being honest, I really didn't do a ton of research on this prior to it emerging. Looks like it can take 90 to 120 minutes for this monarch to dry out sufficiently to take a small flight. But some information I found says you really don't want to release them until like 24 hours has gone by because that's how long it takes them before they're like completely ready to fly. But, you know, out in nature, they don't have anybody to take them in and protect them, so I guess I can't feel too bad. And I'm learning. I'll know more next year, be better prepared for this. It was just kind of a fluke that I found this caterpillar and decided to keep it. And were you bringing me dinner? Well, some skin before I eat it all. Here you go. Thanks. Yep. Rotisserie chicken skin. So, I think I'm going to leave this out here and go eat dinner with the family. And uh, maybe when I come back, it'll, it'll still be here and maybe it'll be off doing its butterfly things. We'll see. I decided to invert its box over the top of it just to kind of protect it from aerial predation. Uh, put a little bit of a piece of wood up there to help weigh it down. So I'm going to let it be now and go eat dinner. Alright, I'm done with dinner and the little lady is still sitting out here. This chrysalis is pretty cool. It it's, uh, sounds like wax paper when you crinkle it. Did you guys see that? I was wrong. That's a male. Two spots on the inner wings. I've been inside helping with the kiddos and I came out and it looks like he is on the move. Isn't that just gorgeous?
It just flew away and then it came back and landed on my leg. Hey buddy. I shouldn't be this excited over a over a butterfly, but this is really neat. There he goes. Look at him go. Going right over to the wildflowers. I think this little guy is going to be A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to let him be. And uh, enjoy your life, little buddy. <laughs> Take care, everyone.